The problem with success is that everyone defines it differently. For some people, it's having a nice career, lots of money. For others, it's having a nice family, a nice house. And depending on how you define it, your days can look drastically different. I like the way this guy puts it. Before you do anything, make sure you're on a path that leads you to where you want to go. If success to you means having a successful career, then most of your time, most of your days are going to be spent pursuing that career. And it's going to come at a cost, which is probably your family here. If family is priority to you, then you're going to do everything in your power to make sure the family has what it needs. You're going to help with chores around the house. You're going to help with drop-offs and pickups. You're going to go volunteer at your kid's school, not because you have to, but because you want to, because that is what success means to you. Now, I oversimplified this. There's a bunch of other stuff, like career doesn't necessarily mean money, and family doesn't necessarily mean doing chores around the house. So even if your definition of success is your family, you might still have some days where you just just got to grind it out at work. It's busy season. You just got to get the job done so that you can keep providing for your family. You might only have time to help with dinner and maybe do showers and bedtime here. But sometimes you have those days where you can afford to work, let's just call it three hours, and then spend more time with your family. It's all a balancing act, right? Some days I'm going to work less and I'm going to spend more time with the family because I can afford to because I put in those hours on the other days. This is a Crush it day, successful day, success. Good job, keep it up. Now I put self-care and mental health in that family bucket. So gotta be right in the mind in order to show up well for my family. And so I have a hobby of flying drones. That's part of my self-care. It's trying to take this awesome hyperlapse and this just ran into a tree, fell down, broke. On the first time I flew this, it was so sad. I didn't even get to record anything. Um, but I think it's good news that it broke where it did. So we're gonna try to do a, a, a quick repair right now. Okay, $30 and 20 minutes later. I did get a notification that my gear is ready to pick up at Lulu. Today is a work day, but it's it's one of these days. Your yeah, they look awesome. Thank you so much. You may be thinking, but John, I can't work just three hours a day. That's just not going to happen. My role is too important. People need me at all times of the day. And trust me, I get it. I used to be in roles like that where I just needed to be available at any given time in the day. And if success to you means developing your career as fast as possible, making tons of money, then that's great. You're on the right path. Let's go for a test flight. That's the problem with success on the internet. A lot of the articles and videos and content out there just kind of assume that success means wealth, means money, and even financial independence sometimes. And those are great things, but to me, if they're not done in balance with the whole picture in mind, then that's walking on a path that maybe you don't wanna be on. And so my friends, before you do anything, make sure first and foremost that you're on the path that leads you where you want to go. All right, let's see how it does around this tree. Oh, oh. 
but it doesn't actually move back on course, but hey, better than crashing.